If you have been watching this channel for any length of time, you know that fall is my favorite season in Northern Michigan. In fact, I think fall is the hidden secret in Northern Michigan that both tourists and even some locals miss out on. Most people stick with the same spots they've always gone to, or visitors look up places to visit on TripAdvisor, missing out on the real magic of Northern Michigan. Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the lesser known seed and grouse and hidden gems that really make fall in Northern Michigan extremely special. Also, we're gonna add in some iconic festivals and some more well-known things to do right here in Northern Michigan. That way you are able to experience fall in Northern Michigan like a seasoned local. By the way, I'm Gino D'Angelo, a real estate agent based right here in Northern Michigan. I've spent years helping people discover this beautiful area and today we're gonna to talk about why buying a home in the fall could be the best move for you. Whether you're considering a vacation home or looking to settle down, I'm here to show you the local spots that make this area unforgettable. And with that, let's dive in. You can't talk about Northern Michigan in the fall without talking about how beautiful it is when the trees start to change color. One of the most popular areas to drive during the fall to see the colors changing is the Tunnel of Trees. This is by far one of the biggest draws to Northern Michigan. And while this is a pretty stretch of road to travel year round, during the fall, it gets extremely busy. It's a 20 mile stretch starting in Harbor Springs, going all the way up to Cross Village with beautiful views of Lake Michigan and the colored leaves actually make a tunnel over the road, which makes it seem like you are driving through a tunnel of the most vibrant colored leaves you will ever see. Also, it's not just a pretty drive. There are a couple of cool places worth stopping along the journey. One of my favorite spots is the Goodhart General Store. It's a great place for a drink or to grab a snack. Also, if you're looking for a place to have dinner, consider Legs Inn. Legs Inn is a really famous Polish restaurant that has authentic Polish food, as well as being at the northern part of the Tunnel of Trees, making it a great stopping point. Also, right behind Legs Inn is a great place to take beautiful pictures of Lake Michigan. But if you're looking for something a little less well-known and maybe off the beaten path, consider the Jordan River Valley. It's not nearly as well known, which means you can take your time and really experience what it's like without a ton of traffic. There are multiple trailheads for hiking and even areas that you can pull over and take photographs. The colors in this area are really something else. Vibrant red, orange, and yellow almost everywhere you look. And also as an insider tip, this is a great area for bird watching if you're into that. Also, if you wanna go a little bit further west in Northern Michigan, I would consider M37. M37 is the road that runs up the center of the Old Mission Peninsula in Traverse City. Not only does it have tremendous views of both the West Bay and the East Bay, there's tons of orchards and wineries which make both great places to stop as well as take pictures. Also, if you're driving through there in the fall, make sure you stop at the wineries because that is their harvesting season, meaning there's going to be tons of wine to try. This is one of my favorite trips to make because not only do you get tremendous fall views, but you also get to taste some of Northern Michigan's best local wines. Now we often talk about how much outdoor activity there is in the summer, but believe it or not, there's just as much to do in the fall. Fall in Northern Michigan is not only about enjoying the scenery, but it's also about getting outside and experiencing it. Whether you're looking for a calm hike or something more adventurous, there is an activity for everyone. But before we get into that, please take a minute to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Every week I release a new video about the best things to do and the best places to live in Northern Michigan. Whether you're thinking about moving here or just wanna visit, my videos will save you hours of research. So please hit that subscribe button. One of my personal favorite places to hike in Northern Michigan, especially during the fall, is Avalanche Mountain in Boyne City. Now, while this is a great hike year round, even in the winter, I feel that the fall is the absolute best time to check this trail out. I'll be honest, the trails aren't too difficult and at only about two miles, it's not the longest hike you'll find in Northern Michigan, but you are rewarded at the end by one of the most beautiful views of Lake Charlevoix you will ever see. In fact, one of my favorite things to do on a Saturday afternoon is hike up to the top of Avalanche Mountain, order a sandwich from Lake Street Deli, and by the time you're at the bottom of the hill, your sandwich will be ready for you. And also something that may surprise a lot of you is Boyne Mountain is actually a great place to visit in the fall. Now, most people think Boyne Mountain is really only busy in the wintertime for skiing and the summertime for golfing. But believe it or not, Boyne does a great job of using the fall to their advantage. They use the chairlifts for color tours, which allow you to be towed up the hill, just like you would if you're going to the top to ski down and take pictures of the trees and just enjoy the scenery without having to do too much work. Also, if you're feeling extremely adventurous 
and heights don't bother you too much, check out the Sky Bridge. I've been on the Sky Bridge for all four seasons and fall is by far my favorite. Just make sure you're not afraid of heights because it can get a little scary up there. Another one of my favorite fall activities, especially early in the fall when the temperatures are still hot, is kayaking. And the Jordan River is one of the most beautiful places to kayak in Northern Michigan. It's almost like a meditative experience because the waters are so calm and you can just enjoy being on the river without having to worry about navigating a tough body of water. There are also a couple local outfitters that offer kayak rentals. So don't worry if you don't have your own kayak, they'll bring them right to the bank of the river, help you get in and then pick them up when you're done. How much easier can it get? Now let's talk about the local farms and farmer markets you can attend in the fall. One of the most popular farms in all of Northern Michigan to visit is Pond Hill Farms, which is located at the very beginning of the Tunnel of Trees. They have pizza, beer and wine, and tons of activities for you to take part in. Whether it's a hayride, a corn maze, or even some alternative stuff like pumpkin bowling and shooting a pumpkin out of a cannon. But I have to warn you, be careful when you play the human foosball because I once kicked the ball so hard that it hit someone in the face and I felt terrible for a long time. One thing that I think is really special about Northern Michigan is that every community has their own farmer's market. Whether it's Petoskey, Harbor Springs, Boyne City, or Charlevoix, and each of them is a little different. Now they have some vendors that go to all of them, but a handful pick their spots and only go to one town. So make sure you check out all the farmer's markets in this area so that you don't miss any of the great local vendors. Now, if you're into agritourism, you're gonna wanna check out Frisky Orchards in Charlevoix. They've recently undergone a giant renovation that has made this the mecca of farmer's markets. If you love apples, you're going to love Frisky Orchards because they literally have every single thing apple related you could possibly imagine. They have great apples, great apple donuts, apple pies, and even apple cider. And believe it or not, they have a small restaurant inside of their market. It's not uncommon to go past there on a Saturday in the fall and see no parking available because that's just how popular it is. Mix that with a great playground for the kids and what more could you want in an apple orchard? Now let's talk about food and drink. There are a lot of great spots to stop and have a glass of wine, a beer, or a pizza in Northern Michigan. Petoskey Farm Vineyards is one of my favorite. It's perched on the side of a hill, which gives you great countryside views, mixed with great wood fire pizza and local wine, and you have everything you need to have a great fall afternoon in Northern Michigan. Another stop right here in downtown Petoskey is Beards Brewery. Now Beards is a favorite year round, but in the fall, with the colors changing across the water, it's truly a special experience. Meaning if you've been there in the summer and you visit in the fall, the view is gonna be incredibly different out the window because of the leaves changing. If you're looking for a restaurant that you may not have heard of before, consider the Terrace Inn inside of Bayview. Now, a lot of people think you have to belong to Bayview in order to go to the Terrace Inn, but that's simply not the case. They have tons of seasonal specials such as butternut squash, soup, and stuffed pork chops. It's comfort food at its finest, and it's a great place to stop after you've been exploring Northern Michigan in the fall. And if you're looking for a sweet treat, you're gonna wanna check out Kilwins. Kilwins is a local favorite year round, but in the fall, they have tons of fall favorites such as caramel covered apples, and it's fun watching Kilwins shift in the later in the season from all of their fall stuff right into the Christmas, which they do so well. Now let's talk about fall events. Believe it or not, two of my all time favorite events happen in the fall. First, the balloons over Bay Harbor. Balloons over Bay Harbor are when a group of hot air balloons land in the village of Bay Harbor and show off the balloons for everyone to see. It's super cool to see them get all lit up at night. And there's even one balloon that allows hot air balloon rides. Now don't worry, they're only about 25 feet above the ground. If you've never seen this before, you have to see it at least once. And believe it or not, I go back every year because I think it's truly one of the most special events in all of Northern Michigan. Now, what might be my absolute favorite event in Northern Michigan, no matter what, is the Charlevoix Apple Festival. And not just because I love apples. What's really cool about the Charlevoix Apple Festival is it's a festival dedicated to apples. They have a small petting zoo, some carnival rides, and vendors that sell apples in every single way you can imagine. And whether it's luck or something else, it seems like every year for the Apple Festival, we have great weather, making it even more fun. There's also a handful of smaller events that happen every year right here in Northern Michigan in the fall. Now let's talk about some hidden gems and local favorites. The Bear River Valley Recreation Area is something that not a lot of people know about, but is often still fairly busy. 
It's a trail along the Bear River that you can ride your bike, walk, or even jog. What's really cool about this area in the fall is you're walking amongst the woods, meaning you get to take in the sights and sounds of fall in Northern Michigan. Another place that a lot of you haven't heard of is the Horton Bay General Store. This historic little shop has been around for over 140 years. It's truly like stepping back in time when you walk through the doors. They serve up great coffee and sandwiches and it's the perfect spot for a stop on a fall drive. Something you've probably heard of and a Northern Michigan favorite is Lavender Hill Farms. Most people think about lavender in the summer, but the lavender farm in the fall is truly beautiful. They often have live music and guided tours, making it a really relaxing spot to hang out on a fall afternoon. And last but not least, I wouldn't be doing my job as your trusted real estate advisor if I didn't tell you one of the best parts about fall is it's typically the best time to buy a home in Northern Michigan. A lot of people think that spring or summer is the busiest time in Northern Michigan real estate, but believe it or not, every year our busiest month is typically October. People often ask me, why are you so busy in the fall when nobody's here? And truth be told, a lot of people procrastinate and use their home for one last summer before putting it on the market and selling it before the winter. And as a buyer, you can sometimes get a better deal on a house because a seller is willing to take less in the fall than carry it all winter and try again in the spring. So if you're considering buying a home in Northern Michigan, fall could be a great time to look. So there you have it. Now you know exactly what it's like to experience fall in Northern Michigan from a true local. Whether it's the festivals, the weather, or just seeing the trees change, Northern Michigan is a special time once the fall months hit. And hey, if after watching this video, you'd like to buy a home in Northern Michigan, please reach out to me directly at 231-487-6141. And hey, if you like this video, I think you're gonna love the video link next on the screen. It's the one YouTube thinks you'll enjoy most. I'll see you there.